Making a top-down pixel art game feel like it has real 3D elevation is way harder than it sounds, especially when the world is procedural. A while back, I released the Mountains update for Wildaria. It added some mountain point of interest, but honestly, most of the world still feels pretty flat. So I wanted to fix that. I wanted elevation to exist everywhere, even in regular chunks, near villages, forests, and rivers. To do that, I built an entirely new elevated land system. These new elevated areas are made up from tiles that are four times bigger than normal. They use special top textures that break up the visual noise without clashing with the base tile set. Here's the cool part. I made a simple custom shader that replaces color masks with actual textures. So instead of making a unique tile for every texture combo, I just draw in color coded masks and the shader handles the rest using replace color with a texture. It's reusable for anyone working on a similar system. What good is a hill if you can't climb it? That's where things got tricky. I used edge colliders on tiles to define elevation, but stairs needed to cut through those. So I used the clipper library to subtract stair colliders from the elevated land colliders. It's an elegant solution that lets the player and their pet or even enemies walk up and down seamlessly. So what's next? I'll be adding treasure chests, shrines, and secrets, stuff you can only reach by exploring vertically. Some areas will even be blocked by obstacles you'll clear using pet abilities, think boulders, small trees, even magical seeds you have to grow. And this adds a whole new layer of exploration and progression to Wildaria. Speaking of progression, there's also a new enemy in the starting forest. Meet Oku, the living acorn. It shoots baby acorns out of its mouth. Terrifying and so adorable. It's the first aggro enemy that you'll meet in the world, designed to help new players learn Wildaria's combat loop. I also added controller-specific UI icons, tweaked a bunch of systems, and knocked out a huge stack of bug fixes. The game is slowly growing into the vision I had for almost five years. Wildaria is available right now as a free pre-alpha demo on Steam. Try it out, break things, send your feedback in the Discord, and if you want to support the game, hit that wishlist button on Steam. It really helps indie games like this one get discovered. More devlogs are on the way, so subscribe if you want to see what happens next.